Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Day one of Summer Heat. We gotta talk about this promo, because as I predicted yesterday, I said today was probably gonna be a really, really busy day of content, and it absolutely was. EA dropped tons of content today, a lot of stuff to try to understand. So what we're gonna do in this video is talk about it, maybe clear up any questions you guys might have uh, with just how this promo is gonna work, Talk about the cards that are in packs, talk about the market, and especially in a few hours or maybe even right before you're watching this video, uh, weekend league rewards are going to be coming out since it is Thursday. So that's going to affect the market even more. So I want to talk about a few things uh, related to cards that are back into packs. Talk about weekend league rewards for next week because EA changed those up as well. And then also talk about all of the content that EA put out today. And what we're going to do first to look at that is we're going to head over to the official page. Uh, the website page that EA put out for this. Um, we are going to check what they put out and talk through this because I want to I want to go over a few points in this because th there was honestly a ton of content that was put out today. I know some people like super aren't super duper impressed with it because of the like especially for the objective Mendy, you really have to grind for it. But uh, I think that this is this is nice content. This gives us a lot of things to do. They're giving us brand new cards that are out in packs. Uh, so I want to just talk about all of it and that's what I think the plan is today in this video So summer heat is here and this is a uh, this is basically footies is what I'm feeling what I'm seeing This is basically footies based off of what we have here summer heat voting. All right So there's gonna be voting like footies. There's gonna be this new thing called summer showdown, which I'll talk about that has a lot of potential um, Re-released SPCs re-released cards into packs tiered engagement rewards and then of course they uh, updated weekend league rewards as well but i want to talk about through this voting i want to talk about this voting first so for 24 hours on select days throughout the campaign so it's just going to be a 24 hour uh a player pick pack that will um come up on login basically so like 6 p.m when you log into foot after 6 p.m on whatever day they're going to put out these packs or these picks you will be able to choose from three summer heat nominees so just like last year with footies uh, nominees will include some of the most popular players from the past season of foot. The player you select will, will receive your vote. Yep. Okay. The foot summer heat nominee that receives the most votes will be released via SBC as an upgraded summer heat winner item. The two runners up will receive boosted summer heat items as well, but they'll be made ex available exclusively in foot draft. So to me, remember how we had that card design where... There was the summer heat with that had the white flame on top and the summer heat car design that had the darker flame on top to me the way that this reads is that the summer heat nominee uh that wins right the, the winner will have the winner item with the white logo on top and the two non-winners the other two runner up that will still get boosted which is dope and cool uh, are going to be in foot draft. So those will be the cards you'll see in foot draft. The thing I like about this that is different than the past years is um, basically all three nominees are going to get upgraded cards. So they're just giving us more cards to use and to try out, even though some of these are just in foot draft. Uh, that makes it kind of interesting and it's kind of cool at least that you might be able to get those cards through foot draft. Uh, I just like that they're boosting all the cards. That just gives people more options uh, for trying out cards and having fun. Um, uh, and, and of course the SBC for the winner is what all of us kind of look forward to and knew from last year But uh, this is one thing that I really want to talk about summer showdown Each week one football match. So it's gonna be like a marquee matchup, right? EA is gonna pick one match each week and um, They're gonna release a summer heat player item via SBCs for One player on on each team in the highlighted match. So let's play like let's say uh, Tottenham Hotspur play against Manchester City. There's going to be a boosted player from Tottenham, boosted player from Man City, and then the special showdown item uh, from the winning side will receive a permanent plus three overall stat boost. In the event of a draw, both players will receive a plus one. So the cool part about this is you're basically going to be doing an SBC for a live item, but I think the way that EA is going to structure this is they're going to put out the uh, SBC for this matchup and then SBC this is the to this is the way that I feel like EA is going to do this the, e the EA way I guess they're going to put out this SBC right for the two players that are involved in the matchup and then SBC is going to expire before the game is actually played so they're going to make you make a decision okay am I doing the Manchester City we're using our example from before am I going to do Manchester City player and do the SBC or do the Spurs player or do both 
you know it's it's another coin suck situation because they're gonna they're gonna make you try to do both and to, to suck more coins off this game seriously in june they're finding ways to suck coins off of this game to get people to try to buy fifa points for whatever reason so uh i mean this is a really sweet idea i like it uh but again i'm seeing a lot of themes in this promo and that is sbc's sbc's sbc so you guys are probably going to see SBC fodder is going to stay high and it's going to maintain a very high price during this promo. Uh, even though people are ripping a lot of packs and there's going to be a lot of packs opened, uh, there's going to be so many SBCs and so much demand for that kind of stuff. So I like this idea. That's cool, right? Best of re-releases. This is what we expected to happen. And again, they're running it just like last year. They're doing a two. Actually, this is a little bit longer than a two week period. July, June 17th to July 3rd. I guess it's right around two weeks, but not quite. Um, they're going to have set one in packs, which is uh, they give you these spreadsheets on the website where you can look up these cards. Libertadores, headliners, wants to watches, some select team of the week cards uh, like Van Dyke is in there. De Bruyne is in there. Allen, Harry Kane, uh, Dybala, Mbappe is in there right now as well. And then shapeshifters, winter refresh cards. So all the cards that we did see on the loading screen uh, yesterday, all those card designs, those promo teams were re-released. So that was, you know, basically expected. A lot of market moves with those. We'll talk about that in a bit. And then Summer Heat fan favorites. This is, again, something we kind of expected as well with this promo, but with a different twist. So selected Summer Heat fan favorites will release with new versions of previously released SBCs and objective special boost with boosted stats. That's the whole point, right? So basically, uh, it's like the, the Footmas Furland Mendy that we saw today. This card right here. This is like a Summer heat fan favorite mendy like this is what that summer heat fan favorite is uh we started off with this footmas mendy sbc and now you can grind the objectives uh to get this 93 mendy card which they messed up the pace on earlier today uh which is you know it is what it is but um uh they fixed it now he has 97 pace this is probably the best left back or right back in the game am i gonna grind this i'm honestly tempted to i wouldn't have before but i think i might want to play this guy right back so we shall see uh, I probably will end up grinding this. A lot of people are dropping divisions. A lot of people are playing rivals at the moment, trying to get this card because this is like one of the best, if not the best, like left backs in FIFA Ultimate Team history, especially in this game with this Furlan Mendy. Uh, his gold card and the, this Footmas card have been used so much by so many people, including myself, throughout the year this year. So a lot of people are grinding this and rivals right now, it's probably an absolute sweat fest. All I would say is just help people out, right? If you know they're going for the objective, make their life a little easier. Maybe quit out, get into a new game, right? Because you need a lot of wins. It's going to take a while to do this objective. Some people are going to be able to do it really fast, um, but it's going to take a decent amount of time because you just have to win so many games. But you know what? Is it worth it? I'll let you kind of make that decision based on how much time you think it's going to take you. And then if that card is worth it for you in terms of like a grinding standpoint, if you think that it is. To keep going through this really fast, then we'll get back over to the game and talk about the content. Tiered engagement reward packs. So a lot of you guys probably got ultimate packs today uh, for logging into the game a certain amount of days. There are also going to be two opportunities to earn more of these packs based on how many days you log in uh, like in the next uh, couple weeks. So basically into, into July, there's two more periods where you'll possibly be able to, to earn more packs, which is cool. And then the big thing I want to talk about again is weekend league rewards. So they didn't put just TOTS cards back into weekend league rewards. They basically threw like all promo cards into weekend league rewards, which a lot of people were asking, what is this pack code that Footwatch tweeted earlier today? A lot of you guys might be questioning this. This is just weekend league rewards and the Twitch Prime pack, which is a player pick with a minimum 83 plus and five rare gold players for that card, that pack, which actually comes out today. I thought it was yesterday, but it actually comes out today. Uh, and then, yeah, so these packs that we saw in here, these are not going to be packs that, at least hopefully, uh, are not going to be released, although that would be crazy if they did release that. But these are definitely going to be weekend league reward packs. Three overall 90 plus players, 11 overall 90 plus players. That is exactly what it entails here. Uh, so again, it looks like you need to get gold too. So it looks like before, you know, you could have gotten, there was no, there, there's no rating cap on silver one or gold three. Um, but... You, you definitely want to get gold too, I think, because the 90 rated or higher, that's a big distinction from silver one where it's 83 plus with no cap to 90 plus with no cap. So gold two and above is going to really be if you're going to play weekend league, maybe you try to grind to that point. And then of course, the uh, elite packs and the top 100 packs will be containing 
all of these different type of special cards. So we got Road to the Final, Team of the Knockout Stage, Ultimate Scream, Future Stars, Headliners, Kickoff, Winter Refresh, Shape Shifters, Foot Birthday, or Tots. So literally, you could get yourself a red uh, Foot Birthday Mbappe or like a red Foot Birthday Pogba from rewards. Like the opportunities for these red rewards are now... Yeah, I'm, I don't know, like they're endless, man. I'm speechless, bro. I can't even speak. Like you could get this Mbappe in rewards. You could get this Mbappe in rewards. Do they have team of the year nominees in here? Okay, they didn't have team of the year nominees. Uh, but like you could get, they didn't say, they didn't say team of the week. Okay, no team of the week cards. But you, you could get this card in rewards. Like how sick would that be to get this card red? Now it probably would just have the foot champions uh, design. And next week, a week from today, next week's weekend league rewards are going to be it's going to be wild to see what the drop rate is on some of these cards. Now, I doubt a lot of people are going to be able to get this card, right? Or even this this Mbappe. But uh, just the, the, the fact that the potential is there for those cards is crazy. This has to be like the biggest pool of special cards ever to be pulled from for weekend league rewards. So, of course, EA can rig the possibilities with pack luck and pack weight and stuff like that. But that's just that just makes it very, very interesting. Uh, that we have that opportunity in this game to do that stuff. So we looked at the Furlan Mendy uh, objective already. You guys know about that. And then we look also need to talk about this Tengai and Dombele SBC, which I, of course, am a huge fan of because I'm a Spurs fan. Um, I'm a huge fan. Of, I'm going to be doing this SBC for sure. Actually, if I go out and look at the market for high rated fodder at the moment, some of these cards have They've dropped down. Some of these cards have actually dropped down. And I think one of the things that is pulling down the fodder, especially in like the 85 rated plus range, I think what is pulling down the fodder right now is the price of these other special cards, right? Because these Combi Bowl cards, from what I'm seeing, the cards they re-release back into packs, when everybody is opening their like 125k pack um, that they have saved up, which I'm going to do right now actually on this video because I've got it. I haven't opened it yet. I've got a 50K and a 125K pack. Uh, this 50K is from like the EA event earlier this week. But you might see this right now when I open these packs. The Libertadores cards pop all the time in these packs. Looks like we're getting an inform in this first pack maybe. Uh, Argentine striker. Who is this? Did I just pack inform Dybala? Oh, let's go. Oh, inform Higuain. Dang, they trolled me. They trolled me. So that is 86 Higuain. Uh, but that is like an 86 rated card that could be one of the more cheaper 86s and just kind of drag down those the prices of those cards, which is kind of interesting. And that might keep fodder in check a little bit since all of these special cards uh, are in the game now and they're getting packed and they're getting supplied. You're seeing some of those prices drop. Let's see what the ultimate pack has in store. I'll take that Higuain 86 rated. Bring it home. All right, let's go EA Sports. Drop me another big boy. Another promo card. Uh, what is this? It's like an orange. Okay, so this this is a Libertadores card. Uh, who's this? Arias. Okay, interesting. These cards pop all the time from what I'm seeing. These uh, Kamibo Libertadores have a super duper high pack weight from what I was seeing today in streams and stuff. Dang, that's actually, that kind of sucks, man. And 83 and 84. Uh, uh, how many dupes? Dang, man. That was actually a pretty trash 100k pack. All right, it is what it is. Regardless... Shout out to EA for giving us some of those free packs. But, uh, you know, these cards are going to get packed a lot. And we saw some crazy, crazy price fluctuations today. I have some cards that are on my transfer list still from last night. And I want to show you the price differences from what happened today when they got re-released back into packs. And I want to show you some graphs as well from some of these cards. And the first example I want to talk about is Mr. Shapeshifter Ben Yedder. This card right here. This guy was 915,000 coins this morning, right? which is kind of still where he's at right now, but he has been on a roller coaster ride today. And I want to talk about it. It's like he's 900,000 coins at the moment. These cards are going to get packed a lot again during rewards. Are they going to rebound after that? Because there's some of them are really rare. Some of them are really, you know, hyped up and usable cards. This Neymar is 3.231. So last night, this Neymar was like 3.536. And I was telling people, I was like, hey, you want to probably cash out on some of these cards. And if you did, you're probably feeling pretty good about it uh, just because of the fact that a lot of those cards dropped crazy amounts in price today because they were re-released -re back into packs. But specifically this Ben Yedder, I want to show you this guy's graph from today because these cards are going to fluctuate 
a lot. And this does not actually tell you the two, the the true tale of this price. So this morning, Ben Yedder was still almost a million coins, a little bit of sell off. He went down to 880, back up to 920. And then when he was re released back into packs, it says he went down to 700 to, to 841 and to like 683 on the, on the uh, Xbox. Uh, 841. He was actually, I have one that's added to my transfer targets. There was a Ben Yedder that popped up at the 59th minute that was on the market for a couple minutes in this time frame for 790,000 coins. And now this guy is back up to 900K. These cards, the very rare cards, the shapeshifters, some of the headliners, um, some of the other special cards that are that are re-released, right? Uh, headliners, especially some of these team of the week cards that are still useful. Winner refreshes. I would specifically look at the headliners and shapeshifters from this set. Headliners and shapeshifters from this set of cards that are back in packs. These cards are going to fluctuate. Let's look at Marcelo, right? Uh, we have weekend league rewards that are coming in just a few hours. I would expect these cards to get supplied again, but I would also expect them to rebound back. Marcelo was 395. He bounced back to 430, right, in the buyback. And now he's kind of coming back down towards the 400K range. But that if there's a kind of bouncing around in price, when this guy is getting panic sold and when there's supply of people that are opening packs because people saved packs for today and they started doing pack openings that's where some of the supply came from um when i see that sort of fluctuation i get interested right this lucas has a little bit of value to me i bought two of these today for eighty-two thousand coins uh and he's back up to a hundred thousand coins i'll probably cash those before rewards yeah he was 86 85k and he's back up to 100. i'm probably going to cash this out before rewards and then maybe uh, one thing you might be able to do today with rewards is in a few hours when rewards come out, you might be able to buy cards because these cards are going to get packed a lot during weekend league rewards with tradable supply on the market from those packs. You might be able to buy some of those cards and watch them rebound into the weekend into Friday, um, because of, uh, weekend league, because now people not have a reason now to play weekend league with the uh, rewards and objectives that EA have put in this game so these cards are going to fluctuate a lot but the the trend overall for a lot of these cards that got put back into packs right this veron was like 500k yesterday and now he's now he's like he was in the 300s wow he rebounded as well man okay this makes sense he, he's 450 again man this guy was 370 earlier today these cards are going to fluctuate around if they are rare if they are valued because people obviously want to link this to that new furland mendy and a lot of people don't have coins right now. So in that 550,000 coin range or below, except for a few really super meta cards like a Ben Yedder, like maybe the Messi shapeshifter, Ronaldo shapeshifter, watch for the selling and the supply that happens today during weekend league rewards, the undercutting that happens in the first few hours. You should see a rebound because of that uh, on some of those cards. But I would, uh, you know, I would just warn you that these cards are still in packs. People are opening a lot of packs. This is also the time of the year where people just say, screw it. And they end FIFA by opening packs with coins. Cause you can almost, you can sometimes even go over here to the store. You can open up 7.5 K packs, which I actually have a couple from foot draft, uh, just sitting here in front of me. You can actually open some of these packs and make profit off of them. First pack, man. What is this? Oh wait, what's the pink? Who did I just pack? What? Christian Pulisic? Oh, I just packed a once to watch Pulisic from a 7.5k pack, bro. Once to watch Pulisic from a 7.5k pack. This card will quick sell for 10,000 coins. And I just made coins off of that pack right there. Boom. 10,000 coins for this Pulisic. I'm actually just going to send him to the club because we'll take that. And I just made coins off a 7.5k pack. Can I do it two packs in a row? That's the thing that is a bit scary at this time of the year is people sink their coins into so many things like that. Another board drop. Another special card in a 7.5k pack. It's a Libertadores. Who is this? Uh, a center attacking mid. Cabrera. And this card quick sells for 10k and I'm pretty sure on the market he sells for like 16,000 coins as one of the cheapest 86 rated cards. So it is honestly bronze pack method but with 7.5k packs. You can do it. Seriously, you can go out and open 7.5k packs and make profit off those packs. It's honestly ridiculous at this stage of the game. That's why it's pretty fun. That's why I would also say be careful with some of these cards. They could continue to go down in price. People are going to be losing coins out of the weekend. Uh, and as people are going to be just opening packs with coins when they have the opportunity. And especially if there's promo packs in here, people are going to try to open these with coins. It's just the end of the year and that kind of stuff happens. But 
the major things I want to talk with you guys about today is if you're looking for some last minute weekend league flips, uh, look at some team of the season cards because Tots cards got panic sold today a little bit. Uh, I bought a couple Upa Meccanos, uh, all the people that would maybe be able to finish the uh, objective grind for Mendy. I need a French center back to link him to, as well as the people that maybe uh, did the Ndombele SBC. So I was looking at some French links and also keeping the Bundesliga in mind because so many people packed Sancho last week. You saw Hakimi and uh, wow, this guy's 140K. I bought, I bought him at 111 today. I bought two of them at 111. I bought Upa Meccano at 315. Uh, so many people packed that Sancho from the guaranteed ultimate SBC last week that was uh, a mess up by EA in terms of the odds that a lot of people are still buying Hakimis. This, this, a lot of people are investing in this card. He's 230. Okay, he's 215, 212. Uh, this guy was like 180 two days ago. Now he's, he's up. Uh, French icons I was looking at today. These guys are now inflated. Uh, 470, which is actually a pretty sizable undercut. 490, not 470. This guy was 450 earlier today. I bought one. This guy was uh, 415, 420. So maybe if you go around the market, find, find some icons or some tots cards that are still pretty low, that might be a possibility. Um, ones to watch, Jao Felix went up today because he is possibly getting an inform with his two goal performance because team of the weeks are coming back. There's just a ton of stuff going on right now in FIFA Ultimate Team. It's honestly crazy, right? It's honestly crazy, but let's focus on the short term again to close this video off in summary. A lot of content today, right? Watch the lowering of prices on some of these new special cards that are in packs. Watch them get hit with supply, and then some of them will rebound today as people buy them for the weekend league teams. They just get cheaper. There's demand to play weekend league. So you should see a nice little market rise today with weekend league rewards. Um, maybe in the high tier market, especially. Uh, maybe some of the high tier icons, uh, really high tier. Uh, maybe Tots cards like a Ben Yedder, like a Neymar and Mbappe with um, ultimate Tots rewards, tradable, going to be supplied on the market as well. So if there's any ultimate team of the season cards that you are interested in buying, maybe you want to buy Tots, Neymar, uh, watch those prices today because they could be taking a hit with all the supply coming on um, from tradable rewards. Neymar is 5.5. I wouldn't be surprised if he drops down to like 5.2, 5.3, down a couple hundred thousand coins from that supply today on the market. So that's something to watch out for. And then watch for the supply on the other cards that are in packs. Um, and then honestly, I would, I would seriously watch the supply of SBC fodder because I feel like SBC fodder is going to drop a little bit of rewards today. It actually dropped already. Um, uh, even with this end SBC coming out, I think today we might get a player pick. We might get the first player pick, uh, that would be the first vote for the summer heat voting. So I think we might see that today. Keep your eyes open for that as well. And then um, maybe they'll do like some other re-release SPC. I'm not really entirely sure what they'll do. But EA with a great start to day one of Summer Heat. Let's see. And this is going to be the really big question mark and the really make it or break it part of this promo is can EA continue to bring the hype throughout the rest of this week? That's the make or break it part of this promo in my opinion. Can they keep up the hype? It was really hype day one. A lot of info, a lot of stuff going on. Keep it going, EA Sports, all right? GG so far, but let's say you do it for the next couple of weeks. I mean, this promo is going to run until mid-July, it looks like. So that is interesting. But again, tons of stuff happening today. Good luck on your weekend league rewards if you do have them. Um, and yeah, I'll be streaming some of these packs tonight. I've got a bunch of packs to open on a friend's account. A lot of people are doing League SBC grind right now. League SBC grind is perfect because you just saw me opening those two 7.5K packs and I made coins off of those packs because of the tradable players that I was able to pull. So give that a try. If you have decent pack luck, maybe even give that a shot. See if you can pack anything good from those packs. But just be careful with your coins because again, this is why I didn't go broke after team of the season is um, I wanted to have some coins left for whatever promo is gonna be coming out. And I'm glad that I did keep some coins because um, it is definitely looking like we're gonna need coins for SBCs uh, later on as a part of this promo with all the new cards that are going to be coming out. So if you enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.